Alright, so what's up everybody over on the AK Man's channel, it's your boy Mitch, and today for you is a nuclear on the new map, Splash. Okay, so this is not by me or AK, this is actually by our, our friend, Crucive. Remember to check us out, all of our links and stuff like that will be in the description. He streams, and he does uh, YouTube a little bit as well. All of our links and stuff like that will be in the description. So big shout out to AK for letting us upload to his channel, you know, get some publicity out there, you know, let them, let everyone know, like, you know, we exist. We're here. Yes, we're back. But anyway, what I do have to talk about are these new maps, the new DLC maps. Really good. Really, really, really good in my opinion. I like them all, except for this splash map. I'm sorry. Everybody knows about that glitch. Everybody knows about the splash glitch, just to get into the wall, and you cannot be shot while you are in it. Which is insane. It is stupid, in my opinion. I, I honestly back out every time I get this map because I know everybody knows about it. Everybody tries to get into it. Every game, I already, like, I, I see someone already climbing up the wall to try and get into it. I mean, I already hit a clip on somebody that, um, actually was trying to get into it. And it was, like, honestly, I can't even use it because this guy wasn't even trying to kill me or anything. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's ridiculous. It, it's annoying, and I think the Fandahar really needs to look into that and get this done, get this patched as soon as possible but overall once that glitch is gone this map is gonna be really good to play on you know just re just a really good map overall it's, these new um awakening dlc maps are gonna be probably my favorite for a while they haven't really dropped a really good dlc in a long time in my opinion especially since the, uh sorry advanced warfare was the last call of duty and i honestly didn't play that game at all i really did not like it but that's just opinionated you know it's just me you know someone else might have a different opinion so anyway this, the other map, Skyjacked, awesome map, amazing, I love it um, overall just because it is um, hijacked from Black Ops 2, which is one of my favorite maps of all time, and the fact that they actually brought this back is just really cool, it's just a really good thing to me, you know, it, it makes it feel like Black Ops 2 all over again just when you get on this map, it honestly feels just like it, and I love it, except for that left side, where they, or left or right side, wherever, whatever way you're facing, they did blow a hole in the bottom of, of the ship or whatever platform, whatever you want to call it, and you can go underneath the you can go underneath the map and stuff like that. But otherwise, Skyjack, really good map. Now, anyway, the other map I believe is Rise. Rise is probably going to be one of my favorite maps to snipe on. Not really, not as much red gun, but more more or less sniping because of just the fact that the middle part right there, everyone loves to rush that, especially on ground war. I can see a lot of amazing feeds happening on there from a lot of people, you know, and a lot of trick shots maybe happening on that game, on that map as well, especially with that wall run on the right side where all the water is. That was definitely going to be a really good spot for the trick shot, especially since the bomb is right there on Super Destroy and stuff like that. Now, oh yeah, so yeah, overall, really good map, Rise, love it. Now the next map I believe is Gauntlet. I don't really have anything to say about it. I don't like it. I I mean, I just really I mean, they did the map looks cool, but in my opinion, it's just not it's just not a good map. You know, the spawns on it are terrible. You know, I can't really see anybody hitting that many good feeds on there, other than the fact that they usually rush middle. But other than that, if you're in mid game, you know, you're not really gonna hit that much. So, it's just kind of annoying, you know, it's just just a map I'd rather not play. I, there's so many better maps that I would rather play than Gauntlets. I mean, I'm not talking crap about it or anything like that, but honestly, they, they, they could have done a little bit better on the last map on it, you know. There's always that one map in the DLC that nobody likes to play. One or two maps, you know, I mean, I mean it's a given, pretty much, but, you know, they, it's just what it is. Now, the new Zombies map, in my opinion best best zombies yeah def definitely definitely there's so many easter eggs dare eisendrock probably one of the best zombie maps that known to date just because of the fact that there's so many easter eggs it's so big there's so many different things you can do in the game it's just it's just an overall a really really good zombies map and i can pro i'm probably gonna be playing it for a long time even probably after the next dlc comes out it's a really good map there's so much new stuff to find out on it I mean, people are still finding new things. I mean, you could turn zombies into skeletons. Go look up, go look up a video on that. It's amazing. It's honestly, honestly, a really, really, really cool map. You know, so that's that. Now, the gameplay is gonna be wrapping up very soon here. He is about to get the nuclear, I believe, um, with his scythe right here. You see him running to his pink, and where is it? Yeah, it is. There's a nuclear. I believe he did get a 32 gun streak, and. 
and he died to some BS from a guy using the battery specialist, which, you know, we're gonna, it's stuff like that always happens. But anyway, props to him for getting this. Remember to look up all our descriptions and stuff like that, or all of our links in the description. And anyway, guys, it's your boy Mitch, and I'm out. Peace.